everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be comparing brush styling with the Weedad Rake and Shake method. So I've already did a brush comparison video with this brush and this brush here. This is the one that I use pretty much in um, almost every single one of my videos thus far. And if you'd like to see the results of that comparison, the video is right up here if you'd like to check that out. But the brush I'm gonna be using today to compare with the Rake and Shake is going to be this one. I really like this one just because it's bigger and it's faster. I like to be able to style my hair as quickly as possible because I have a lot of it and then just move on with my day and not spend hours on my hair. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience and on this channel I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. I've already washed my hair. I shampooed with the Kerastas Curl Manifesto Shampoo and conditioned with the Keratin Collagen Conditioner. And then the styling products I'm gonna be using today are the Keratin Leave-In Conditioner, which acts like both a leave-in conditioner and a curl cream for me, and I love it. I love the protein content in these products. I did do a review on keratin products right up here. Following that, I'm gonna be using the Curl Keeper Original Styling Liquid. And I did recently do a review on Curl Keeper products, not just this liquid, but I did a review on the curl cream and the gel. I'm not really sure the order I'm gonna be putting these in here. However, if you'd like to check that one out and if it is available, it will be in a card right up here. And then I'm gonna be using the Keratin Styling Gel. This is another product of Keratin's that I really, really love. Even though this doesn't give me a cast, I love the soft, fluffy, bouncy curls that I get when I use these two products. And I am playing around with this because I wanna see what this will do to the other products as far as frizz control. I don't usually get a lot of frizz with these two products, but I just wanna add this to the mix because Y'all know I just have to mix and match and play around with things. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna start off with the leave-in conditioner and I'm gonna use about that much. This is a very thick leave-in conditioner. And like I said, this works really nicely as a curl cream for me as well. So, and I haven't been using a leave-in and curl cream in my hair for quite some time now because I just really haven't needed to do it. Um, my hair just hasn't needed it. All right, so I am going to split these two kind of down the middle here. And I think I'm going to use the brush side over here and then the rake and shake over here. However, I am going to go ahead and do a quick brush through of both sides just to evenly distribute that product. And I will be continuing that throughout the rest of my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and start my brush styling and I usually bring it at a 90 degree angle. I get some decent tension on the brush and I let it fall. And then I kind of give it a shake so it can kind of go into its clumps. And then I'll just continue that as I go up. And now over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and I should be able to rake and shake this entire section, which is going to make this a lot faster than the brush side because I'm not making such small sections. So I'm going to actually try to insert my fingers in there to where I'm getting a similar amount of hair in between each knuckle. And I'm going to make sure that I'm still bringing out at the same angle that I do when I'm brushing so that my hair is still not stuck to my head and I can get a little bit of lift and volume. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and slide my fingers down until I get to the end do a shake so that it kind of does the same thing as the shake that I do here, where it allows it to break up into its individual little clumps and then allow it to fall. And I bring it up and you notice I'm not really scrunching aggressively here. I'm just kind of bringing my hair up and then I might give it a gentle squeeze at the top. Same thing over here, just kind of pushing it up and giving it a gentle squeeze cream brush to distribute and then this is a much larger section so I am going to split it into two sections for me to rake and shake and I'm going to work the hair outward at a 90 degree angle from my head just kind of walking it up with my fingers sliding my fingers in and separating dragging my fingers down giving it a shake and I'm shaking it gently because I don't want to cause frizz. So we'll let that fall. We'll do the same over here.
curl three, brush through, brush style. And for the top section, I'm still gonna part it slightly off center right in the front, but then the rest of it, it's kind of parted down the middle so that I can style each section differently. And we're gonna do curl cream, brush it through to evenly distribute. And I'm also brushing upwards so that my work is a little bit easier for getting some volume. And then I'm gonna split this into two sections yet again and I'm not making sure that the sections are like really straight or anything like that because I don't really want to create straight lines that are going to be there once it's dry. So I'm going to slide it out, give it a shake. And the front shake. And this is the brush styling section and I already applied the curl cream and I'm just distributing it through. So now I'm just going to section it off and I'm trapping the hair between my finger and the brush just to get a little bit of tension on there. Okay, so that's the styling portion done. So let's go ahead and move on to the Curl Keeper Original Liquid. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'm basically just putting a big puddle of this into the palm of my hand. And this is something that you can actually use quite a bit of, which I did when I did the review. I used quite a bit of it and it didn't leave my hair feeling producty or anything like that. I really like how lightweight this stuff is and I like how liquidy it is. So I'm just glazing it over and gently scrunching it in. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And time for the gel. You can see this is a very thick gel. It does spread out a little bit when I emulsify it and it makes it a little bit easier to work with, but it's still a pretty thick gel. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. It's really hard to glaze this one. This one is more of something that really needs to be kind of scrunched in because of how thick it is. And if you need to, you could probably add a little bit of water in at your hands before putting the gel in and then emulsify it with water just to kind of make it a little bit easier to work with. However, if you put too much water in there with it, then you'll probably be diluting it quite a bit. So there is a fine line. And I've also discovered that patting it works really well to get the upper parts of my hair up near the roots versus trying to glaze it in. The thing I like about thick gels like this is it really, really helps to form those clumps and make them clump up even more. Final product before diffusing is going to be my Aquage Working Spray. Just give a good all over spritz. Time to diffuse and I'll see you when it's dry. That's my hair dry and let's take a look at both sides. I do have a tiny bit of cast. It's not from the gel, it's actually from the hairspray. It's not really a whole lot of a cast, but there's a little bit of a one. And let's take, it the, take a look at the frizz situation. And there's not a whole lot of frizz on either side. I have decently defined curls, but let's go ahead and put in some of the Evolve Wonder Balm and I'll do a little bit of scrunching and a little bit of fluffing and we'll see what everything looks like. So I only use a partial pump of this, just a very small amount because this is all that I need. And a full pump dispenses quite a bit of this. And I'm just smoothing it over my hair, making sure that it is evenly distributed everywhere. And then with the very little that's left on my hands, I'm just gonna go ahead and start scrunching. I have got some really big hair, especially on this side. I'm not surprised that I have more volume on this side than I do on this side. This side is probably a little bit more defined than it is on this side. So doing the rake and shake definitely gives me more volume. However, I do know that going forward over the next few days, this is the side that'll probably last longer than this side because that's just what happens with my hair or probably most people's hair is the more defined it is, the more days you're gonna get out of it. And then the less defined that it is, the 
less days you're going to get out of it. Although I actually have some pretty decent definition even on this side. And part of the volume that I'm getting because both sides are actually pretty decently fluffy and voluminous. And part of it is because of these products. And that is one of the things that I really like about the Keratin products is all of the lightweight, fluffy, bouncy, voluminous curls that I get out of it. I just, I love it. I would love to be able to say that I will be on here tomorrow to show you how well it held up. However, due to the temperatures, which are in the 90s, scooting on up into the upper 90s, chances are good my hair is gonna go up probably tomorrow, if not also already today. Unfortunately, that's just a part of summer for me. I really can't stand leaving my hair down. I've mentioned this before in a couple of other videos that it's just, it, I have a lot of hair. It gets really, really hot hanging down on my neck, on my back, on my shoulders. So I do tend to put it up a lot. And it's unfortunate because, I mean, this is a really great wash day. I have lots of volume and light, fluffy, bouncy curls that I absolutely love. But then because of the heat, I put it right up. So I kind of waste a wash day, but at least I got to have nice hair on wash day for as long as I could do it. And I'll put it up in something kind of cute, like maybe a claw clip or something like that. So anyway, hopefully you found this side-by-side -side comparison helpful. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.